Time for some B roll. No. Something bad is about to happen to me. I don't know what, but I feel it coming. Might be so sad, might leave my nose running. I just hope she don't wanna leave me. show you some fun days in my October um, which I'm really excited for because October is my favorite month and I'm gonna just take you guys along with me on some of the days and show you some of the fun things um, yeah, I'm gonna finish drinking the matcha and then I shall head to the train um, because I'm going on a school trip today to Dublin Going to Dublin, we're gonna fuck shit up, we're gonna get drunk and get absolutely pissed and everything. I'm going on the swag. Oh, wait, no, wait. <laughs> he did what? Yeah. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> we're going to Dublin today. I don't think I clarified that because my parents would have murdered me if they heard me talking so loud early in the morning. I'm a lesbian. Right, okay, so remote punked! What? I got that in video. I got that in video. Why did you say that? What happened? Because someone, I tried to wave at someone and they didn't wave back. Tell everybody our plan. Because um, we don't have a... Oh my god! <laughs> no, give me the camera. <laughs> On our left we have the George Best Airport. Now, funny story, one time there was a George Best Hotel. Oh wow! And it's been bigged up for so many years and then George Best said, You're not getting my name. Oh no, an ambulance! <laughs> <laughs> I hope whoever's in that ambulance gets better soon. I don't, I don't know why, as soon as we heard that there was an ambulance, we all started to laugh. On our back of the bus. So. So. so I'm getting filmed while I'm making sensual <laughs> So where's the consent form for so. filming? And then here is everyone. Hi. And there's the train. No. And fun fact, I've only ever been on a train one time in my life. <laughs> never done. That's the take. <laughs> I'm knocking on. I'm going to put that in. So. <laughs> Almost paradise. Hey, can we sing it like a bunch of rugby boys? Yeah. Oh, Almost paradise. paradise! The iconic cranes. Here we have Harland and Wolf. This is where the tip was built. Say, say Harland and Wolf at Cirque Banger. Harland and Wolf at Cirque Banger. <laughs> Jack woke up on the bus and then he literally was like, he was just around and he was like, do you remember Holly Jervis from The X Factor? I'm Holly Jervis and you've not heard anything like me. I've got, I've got the what message. What are you saying? Pardon? Start singing. Start singing. Dublin, Dublin City Gallery. So we're at Dublin City Gallery right now. Uh, and now to play with the weather. <laughs> no, 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 that's, I'm standing at Hannah's later on. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really like, oh, man. Hi! Yeah. So I fell asleep on the bus. It was very um, <laughs> um, so dramatic because so everybody was everybody was being so loud and I couldn't sleep or whatever. So yeah. <laughs> We've got this man here. Roy Cecil. He's called Cecil King. Cecil. 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 I don't know how you pronounce that. To 
the artwork. It's very cool in here. Um, we have these people on the wall and people over there. Um, very... Uh, it's very unprofessional the way I'm saying about the paintings, but um, I don't know the names of all the people. It's just me being me. Not paying attention to anything. Lana, do you want to say hello? Like and subscribe for a new video. This is Ryan. This is Matt. And then we have to be out in like five minutes. <laughs> well, it's too bad I'm vlogging. Guys. That's fun. Oh, that's cute. No. That's fun. We're not doing an assignment. We're learning. Is it called Francis Bacon? Yeah, isn't he? Yeah. But we're learning about Francis Bacon, and um, he was. Um, he's very interesting. Um, I don't know if I took a video, but there's a a place in the um, museum where it's all of his old original art supplies, and they took it over from England. I think it was and brought it here in Dublin. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Comment down below if you guys know him. Yeah, he's, he's really interesting. He's a very, very intricate. Oh, I think yeah. you're it's low on battery. Oh, okay. Well, I'll save it for later because we got so much footage in the museum. <laughs> What's your thoughts, feelings, and emotions right now? <laughs> Nothing. Satisfied because I have my McDonald's. The nacho cheese bites are very good. And I have them. Yes! They're the best ones. Everybody, please get nacho cheese bites. They're the best. And it's just him reacting. Hi, guys. So we are out of McDonald's. Oh my god, my I have insane eye bags. I look like Chancellor Palpatine. Hey. Today um, I'm doing something very autumnal. I'm making pumpkin pie. I don't know if you guys have ever had pumpkin pie, but it's amazing. I'm obsessed with everything that's pumpkin. So yeah. Um, and I think I might be going to a pumpkin patch after that. Hey, no, this is this the, what is this? The pumpkin? The puree. Oh, right, pumpkin puree. Okay. Nothing has went wrong yet. It might go wrong though, but I don't know. It could, it could happen. <laughs> this is a pumpkin seed. Reminds me of that movie Holes, where Emmy ate the pumpkin seed, so he wouldn't stop smoking. So he would stop smoking. Right here we have our cinnamon. It's gonna go in the bowl. Right, I'll just kind of. Yeah, my ear. I mean, don't put too much. You guys can just, just put half in. Right, I'm gonna mix it all together. Mix it all together, and then you know you. Mix it all together, and you know that it's the best of both worlds. So I'm mixing the pumpkin and all the ingredients together. It smells very, very nice. I actually don't think we've messed this up. I think it will go all okay. So I'm gonna pour this mi mixture into here. Yeah, carefully. Trying to hold this pumpkin and the camera at the same time has proven to be quite a challenge, but it's okay. There's like a mat, there's like a wall over here of just like pumpkins, which is really cool. Over here, so cool. And then this is actually, this is actually breaking my hand. It's actually so sore, but yeah. It's like the song constipated. 
So we're in this like kind of spooky place and I really am scared. Well actually I'm not really, it's kind of... Me digging my own grave. <laughs> what? Me digging my own grave. But look. <laughs> look, there's like a little badger or something down here with a, with a knife. Um, Me. And there's like a wolf right over here. Hi. Well, that was a wee bit boring. Um, it was a, a quite a fun ha little Halloween experience, but it was... What did you think? Did you think it was pretty anticlimactic, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Tell everybody about our experience at Burger King. Let's be a Karen. Let's be a wasp mom about it. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. We need you. We need you. Hi. 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 I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm... Incompet incompetent. So we're in Eddie Rockets right now. They've got it all like decorated for Halloween and we really wanted to go to this like American diner. We didn't really get anything. We just got like milkshakes, but like they're not even in like a milkshake. Like one of these fancy milkshake glasses. Fuck feelings and emotions. Disappointed. Are you disappointed? But not surprised. <laughs> disappointed but not surprised. So I'm gonna do a Funko Pop haul. I got a Funko Pop to add to my Funko Pop shelf. Funko Pop? It is um, Mr. Freeze from Batman and Robin. Very, um... How the fuck do you leave in this? What? Oh, never mind. Just a stupid question. Show me one of our catnip. What's catnip? Does, what does cat we do? It what? <laughs> We had the worst experience of our entire lives, and I'm really like, I actually like, don't think. I'm... There was absolutely no call for it. Like, I just wanted some platform black Converse, and they brought me everything but the fucking black platform Converse. Not even a fucking apology to go along with it. Like, they were literally just like, uh, oh, uh, oh, he's done that again. Uh, one blame the other, and fucking all this here and then like when I eventually get to the fucking tell I mean this is my fault but like I'm not gonna like take a bit for it anyway I got my wee hundred pound voucher the day and I thought I'd treat myself to a pair of shoes with it and I get to the tell I knew primarily I wasn't gonna be able to do I literally realised the minute I pulled out of my bag I was like I'm not gonna be able to pay for these because you can't do over 45 pound with contact us because like who, who the fuck made that right up yeah. the effect is out of the window and not for them shoes myself I would have got them five minutes later than I could Literally. You're not wearing the biscuit, are you? not going to buy any biscuits, are you? Huh? You're not going to buy any biscuits? No. Okay, so basically. I filmed an outro for this video on my camera but it was after I just got home and my hair was soaking wet so I looked awful and I looked like a bit of a psychopath like killer or something like that so I'm filming it on my webcam to end this video very unprofessional but I just prefer for that clip not to be on YouTube but yeah thank you so much for watching this video there'll be more videos coming soon maybe even some in October you never know because there's so much to do this month but yeah but I'll definitely see you around December time for more Christmassy type videos. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.